Have you ever dreamed to go into space? If so, those dreams probably revolved around NASA's glory days, when they successfully put a man on the moon a few times, and then as close to the moon as the killer rocks that doomed the Apollo 18 mission would allow, several more times after that. Right now, the best NASA can do is drop a remote-controlled rover on Mars so it can Instagram back black and white headshots of itself like the annoying tween at a concert. If you actually want to go to Mars, though, you'll have to wait until the year 2023 when a company aptly named Mars One starts shipping common folk like me and you to a planned outpost that is hopefully not the terrifying series of adult-sized ovens that it appears to be in this picture from their website. They're hoping to have the plush accommodations you see there completed before the first willing participants arrive. And they've hatched a plan to do it using nothing but technology that already exists today. Translation? Take a look around you. The room you're in right now is probably a lot like what space is going to look like. When you get there in 2023, the inside of your Mars house will basically be a thrift store electronics section. You're going to a planet that looks like Earth without the vegetation and strip malls so you can sit in a one-room pod decked out with a bunch of shit that nobody wants to be around. This is the meth trailer in the New Mexico desert of space travel. If for some reason you still want to give life on Mars a chance, the Mars One website includes all the information you need to apply, including a helpful list of typical astronaut characteristics, like having persistent thought processes, remaining productive, seeing the connection between your internal and external self, and never questioning those who lead you. Holy shit. If joining a burgeoning space cult isn't your thing, there's another option that promises all the boring of Mars One without the decade-long wait or possible labor camp enslavement. It's called Space Complex Alpha, and it's the brainchild of Robert Bigelow, the founder of the Budget Suites Hotel chain, because who else are you going to trust to safely house you in space? Oh, and if you're thinking, hey, those space stations look inflatable, relax, they totally are. They're made from a material called Vectran, which is twice as strong as Kevlar and, ideally, like four times as strong as whatever material normal people make space hotels with. Like the Russians, for example. They're working on a hotel nearly identical to Bigelow's, except it's presumably made of metal and... That's the only selling point, actually. Looks like it could be metal. Oh, and they promised there might be cable and internet access. Since we're talking about Russia, you should expect plenty of booze on board their space hotel. There, there is no booze allowed on the Russian space hotel. Are there two rushes? So to summarize, if breaching the final frontier is still a dream you have, your current options are inflatable budget suites in space, Russian but not in a fun way budget suites in space, or join a Martian cult. Choose wisely, as if that's even possible. Hey there, thank you for supporting Cracked. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do that at any time. I know that you're a big fan of Soren Rodica, which I've done before, and uh, unfortunately I'm out, but I thought maybe I could just come up with some on the fly. Parker took off his pants, uh, and the girl that was with him was like, yeah, that's a dick, and he was like, I know. And, and then they were gonna have sex, and he was like, but I'm also, a, I'm a horse. No, he's not a horse, that's bad. He's a, uh, he's a human, he's, um, but he's like a human that can like, he has like wolf-like powers, like the, the kid from uh, Abandoned, Abducted.